We're following breaking news now surrounding those protests continuing now for more than a month in Iran. The last hour, the U.S. Treasury announced sanctions against Iranian officials and entities it says are responsible for the crackdown against the protests and Internet censorship. The Republican, the department rather, specifically is pointing to human rights abuses. Meanwhile, in Iran this morning, today marks the 40th day since the death of Masa Amini, the 22-year-old whose death sparked the mass protests after she died in hospital after being arrested by the morality police for dress code violations. This image, making the rounds on social media, showing thousands of protesters who showed up at her burial site. You can see the woman standing on a car without her head covering or hijab. This video, posted by Hega Human Rights Organization, shows protests at the cemetery where she's buried. Look at that crowd. They are noting in their caption that the demonstrators chanted, Woman, Life, Freedom. NBC News Chief International Correspondent Keir Simmons joins us now. Here, this is continuing. It's gaining strength. There are credible reports now that I have seen from, from groups that we have long known uh, in Iran about unions getting involved, the oil and gas industry getting involved, which those workers are critical to now joining what had been a predominantly women-led protest, which is spreading. Yeah, and th this is uh, the end of the uh, traditional period of mourning, uh, 40 days uh, for Masa Amini. And uh, so it, it isn't, in that sense, a surprise to see large numbers of crowds gathering in her hometown, the town where she is buried. But of course, as you rightly say, what is surprising, stunning, frankly, is these continuing protests, despite uh, one rights group today uh, saying that live rounds are being fired, that tear gas is being used to try and disperse uh, those protests. As you mentioned, uh, just the, the uh, images that we are seeing emerging uh, from that northern part uh, of Iran, showing those those lines of cars, showing once again uh, female protesters, uh, some not wearing the hijab, not uh, covering uh, their heads. Uh, so th the protests continue uh, despite the crackdown and uh, global uh, news developing this hour in Iran and, uh, and there, Andrea, with uh, this announcement uh, of uh, more than a dozen Iranian officials uh, placed on the sanctions uh, blacklist. Uh, that uh, announcement, including officials from the R R IRGC. Uh, so uh, you know, the, uh, the U.S. trying to send a clear message. You know, Andrew, there will be uh, critics who will point out that that same administration was negotiating with the Iranian just earlier uh, this year, uh, trying to find uh, their way to a new uh, nuclear deal. But but things are moving fast and changing on the ground in Iran, Andrea. Yeah, and I think that the nuclear deal is, for all intents and purposes, from the White House and State Department, dead to them. Because uh, after these protests, there is yeah, no way. I think that's right. No way politically or morally that they could negotiate with the Iranians. Uh, in any case, Keir Simmons, on top of everything from London, thank you so much.